Kevin, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, I just horsing around, really. Um, I got to wondering the other day. Turn off the helmet. I got to wondering the other day about the differences between inverter MIGs and transformer MIGs. So there's really about you know three big differences that I, I can think of off the top of my head with the you know like with the, the longevity uh, Pro MTS over here. You know it's a little three function machine, so it's got MIG, TIG, and stick all in one box, inverter based. As opposed to the Miller Matic, this is my old uh, 251 Miller Matic MIG welder that I bought ooh, way back in like uh, 03 or 04, transformer based. Okay? Uh, big machine, you know, the transformer based. They're always big machines, they're always heavy machines. You either put them on a skid and you set them someplace and they stay there, or they come with wheels. The inverter-based machines, always a suitcase. As far as I know, they're, they're always you know a suitcase size, something you can pick up and carry. Some of them are so small they come with shoulder straps. You can get more functionality out of the inverter-based welders. You know, you can you can make them do more things, such uh, as such as well, you know, this one has has a function called burn back, where when you're MIG welding and you let go of the trigger on the gun it'll send a little charge down to the end of the wire just to burn the wire back so it's sticking out of the gun the same distance every time. Where with the Miller, or at least this old Miller, I don't have that function over here. Now, uh, smaller, lighter, easier to carry, cheaper, you know, about uh, about a thousand dollars right now, brand new. For an inverter? For, for the for the inverter, you know, for the longevity inverter machine, for this multifunction machine, about a thousand dollars on the website. So when I bought this Miller, you know, if I remember right, it was just under four thousand dollars. You know, one of the other big differences between the transformer-based welder and the inverter-based welder is on the other end of the machine. It's the power coming in. So here, look at this. So these are the two power cords. This is for the longevity for the the uh, inverter-based machine. This is for the Miller, the transformer-based machine. Look at the size, you know, look at the difference in the power cables, how much power one machine needs over the other. Much, much cheaper to run with the inverter. You know, you can plug this machine in the 110 and still use the machine. So, all kinds of differences. But, let's go to the table, though. Let's fire it up, let's make some sparks, and compare the two of them that way. So I've got both MIG welders fired up. The, the Longevity uh, Pro MTS and the uh, Miller Matic, the Miller, Miller Matic 251. Uh, both set to the same voltage. The Longevity actually sets its own wire speed, and it reads kind of different. You know, it, it's reading 137, not sure, I think it's inches. I'm not sure. Versus, you know, to 200 to 22 volts, where I've got the Miller set at 22 volts and 302 inches. Because yeah, I've been playing already, so they're set pretty darn close to one another. So they read a little bit differently as far as wire feed goes. But I thought, let's just, you know, I'll grab one, I'll run a couple little beads, and I'll grab the other and run the beads. Listen to the sound. Listen to the sound of the two of them and see what you think of those. So, first up, let's do the long jab. Okay, so that's the longevity of uh, the uh, Pro MTS. So now, let me grab the Millermatic MIG welder and we'll give that a couple of little runs here so you can hear how that sounds. So now that was the uh, that was the Miller that was the Miller Mad. So could you hear a difference in the sound? So let's just take a look at the welds down here. Now I'll show you the, some of the, the uh, differences between the Miller welds and the Longevity welds. And then I got a surprise buried in here too. 
So now this is the first weld that I did with the Longevity Pro MTS. And I did this one and this one over here, all with the same machine. And then with the Miller Matic, you know, the MIG welder, I did these over here. So this is the first one I did, and then I did this one here. To my eye, really can't tell much difference. You know, the, the longevity, the wire feed may have been up just a little bit too high, or with the Miller, you know, the voltage may be a little bit higher than what the longevity is, even though they say the same right on the dial. But when I was, before you got here, I was playing around with it, just trying to get all my settings right. And I did some of these. Now, this was done with the Miller. This one was done with the longevity. And this was done, and this one was done with the TIG. So they both sure seem capable here. You know, they both do a great job right here. Once you get them adjusted correctly, well, you can stand them side by side, and it's hard to tell the difference between one machine or the other as far as the weld that it does. So I'm going to go back to playing, I mean learning, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.